What's going on guys? I've got a huge haul for today. Uh, I just got back from the comic show. Well, I'm actually been back here for a while, been cataloging and doing all that stuff, but huge haul spent a little over a hundred bucks today. Um, but I'm actually going to start this off with a eBay pickup, just one since the last video. Um, and this is Invincible number 26, the first um, Oliver Grayson, who's Kid Omni Man. Um, I paid like 25 bucks for this. This is um, probably like a $40 book right now, and I imagine it'll go up when he comes on the show. I'm sure he'll be on it this uh, season that just started, so uh, pretty happy about that. But that was it, like I said, for eBay. Now it's just uh, it's just all from the show. And if you've seen my other videos, this is uh, the only show I've been to. Um, it's the only one really near me, and I've been hitting the, the 50 cent bin, so... There's a, I'll just get started. Um, this first little batch here, um, let me see, was um, $11. So yeah, sadly, I can't get a ton of Moon Knight at shows. Um, this was one of the only books I found, so number 27, but pretty cheap, so grabbed it. And then this was just kind of a, a random little smaller haul. Like I said, 11 bucks, got Deathstroke the Terminator 13. Um, that was mainly Daredevil, it was just some run filler I didn't have yet. 202, also got 203, which was in the back of the bag and board, so I don't have that one yet. Um, and then 208. And then the last book from that, little haul, probably the best one, Captain America number 151. It's in lower grade, it's not crazy beat up, but that was definitely the best book from that little batch. And then uh found this little table at the end. Uh this was a fifteen dollar haul, everything was half off the sticker, and this is all Ultimate Spider-Man and if you know me I love buying what I read and Ultimate Spider Man is one of the things that I'm reading, so I think this is the first Ultimate Venom cover, so that's pretty cool. Then we got thirty five, another pretty sick Venom cover there. So fifteen dollars for all these pretty decent got five ultimate spider-mans and you got carnage part one and uh part two 61 so i was pretty happy with that got some more ultimate spider-man kind of too i uh have decent luck finding that stuff um so i only bought from four dealers that was i already showed you two these next two are just huge tags um this first one was $32 and it's all from $2 bins and uh, 50 cent bins. Pretty solid dealer. Um, so I'll start with the $2 stuff. Got this Mark Spectre Moon Knight number 19. Any Moon Knight I don't have for $2. I'm grabbing that all day. Um, then found another uh, Dust Rook here, the Terminator number two for two bucks. I figured, you know, whatever. I won't buy any Terminator for $2, but that was a good enough one. Then got a few other caps here, 187 and 188, like that cover. I uh, got a little Batman here as well, number 365. I thought this would be a little better, it's not really. Uh, Hellblazer number three, so that was pretty cool. And then I also, what made me really wanna go uh, crazy in this was I found a bunch more Ultimate Spider-Man, so I got number nine, and these were a lot of earlier ones, which I was really stoked about. Number 10, and then he had 11, which I already had. Uh, so the next one is number 12, and this is like, you can see it's in a bag. I don't really know what this is, but some mail-in, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's rare or anything, but uh, this is number 14. I think this might be the first uh, Doc Ock. That was pretty cool. And then it jumped all the way up to 89. That was the uh, the only other one in there. And uh, then that was the last $2. This is the last $2 book here, uh, Black Cat, which is a cool variant. So the rest of this is all 50 cent stuff. Pretty decent uh, little stack here. So got Deathstroke, uh, New 52, Volume 1. Number seven and number 11. 
and then get into rebirth. So this is all just run filler for me. Number three. Number 14. But I'm really happy to grab all this. I, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to collect all these, you know, runs uh, for as cheap as possible. And shows are definitely the best way. I love these Defines covers. They're awesome. Still haven't read that. Gotta get the uh, omnibus, but I really want to see what that's all about. Um, and this cool Batman cover on Deathstroke. 36. So pretty solid little uh, chunk here of the rum. It only goes up to 50. The last one there is 49. And I mean, this for 50 cents was great. There's a little... Kind of tell that bag will stay in there, but Daredevil 135. Thought that was pretty cool. And then got Daredevil Punisher Means and Ends. I I read this trade like that, number one. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, got a Brubaker Cap, another thing that I'm reading. Number 22, which is an issue I didn't have yet. I have a decent amount of that run as well. Uh, found a lot in uh, some other uh, pickups from this show, so go back and check those out. Then I also got some Plastic Man. I'm a huge fan of Plastic Man. So this is a six issue run from 2018. I got three, four, and number six. Then also grabbed uh, Danger Girl number four, Miss Marvel 26. Um, then I figure these are probably worth something. I still haven't even looked them up. Uh, I think it's Deity. Number one. And number three. But I don't know. They could be $2 books. And then I uh, found a couple Moon Knight covers that weren't Moon Knight books. So got Marvel Knights. Number five. Also got Daredevil on there. So uh, I'm a fan of that. All right, so this next batch here um, is from a dealer. He's like, right when you walk in, I buy from him, spend uh, most of my money on him. Uh, this was a $50 haul. Last time he only had all 50 cent pins, but this time he had um, half off prices mark too, which um, he had the first time I saw him, not the second time, so I was happy. Now this, the third time uh, that he had the prices mark again. And I found some really good books in there. I'm really excited about some of these. So yeah, I'll get started. I'll start with the bigger books, not gonna make your way around um this one's really cool the demon number three so this was 15 and then i got like four he gave me like four dollars off the end it was 59 the total and then uh like we had a 55 but honestly i would have been happy paying 60 like you know his uh deals are awesome so yeah this is the demon number three um i guess this is the third appearance of the demon right because demon number one is his first appearance uh i don't think it's worth much more than like 15 or 20 dollars it's in pretty solid shape i mean no nah, nothing really sticking out to me but yeah really sick cover there whatever kind of monster that is um so yeah that's a really happy to get that book i'm glad um i got a few decent books here normally when i go to shows i just raid the 50 cent bins and don't get anything like you know over 15 dollars so happy to grab that and then uh was able to find one cool Invincible. Really hard to find in shows, but if you've been watching my stuff, you know, like, find the second prints. I think they're just, I mean, they're just so rare. Um, most of them are, like, 2,000 or less. And this is uh, 111, the second print. I actually recognize it from the uh, green text. This is, so, 10 bucks on it. It's probably a $20 book. So half off on a, a decently rare Invincible book. Can't beat it. Uh, one I didn't have, so super stoked about that. Uh, then grabbed a few other from the prices marked. Got this Batman number 376 for four dollars. Just thought that was a cool looking cover. Oh, this I was pretty surprised about. I mean, I know the later you get in spawn, they become more valuable, but this was three bucks. I think this is like a 15 to 20 dollar issue. Number 75. That's pretty cool. And then got this dope Destro cover two bucks um and found this white widow number five figured that might be a valuable cover 
And that was it for the uh, prices marked. And then everything else is uh, 50 cents. Um, I grabbed this. Invincible number one, free comic book day. I also have the Amazon Prime version, which I also bought from him like last show, I think. Uh, but I don't know, this is probably $3 buck. So 50 cents. I'll grab any Invincible, even though it's a reprint from 20 years later. Then I uh, got a few more Deathstrokes here. Always happy about that. From the Rebirth or the Universe run, whatever, they kind of coincide. Number 26. Number 32, another Batman one there. Then also got 46. That's Kid Jericho. Found a Daredevil, 235. That's awesome. 50 cents. One I didn't have. Found another Brubaker cap I didn't have. Uh, 605. This is when they go back to the legacy numbering. So 50 cents. That's great. And then I was really happy about this. This is the iconic Rob Liefeld art. I thought that was awesome. Uh, number six from volume two. Yeah, I thought that was just so cool that I grabbed that. Then uh, a couple of Batmans here, 432. You got a lot more 50 cents. I just, I mean, I'm, they're worth it for sure. It's just, I grabbed the covers that I really liked. So I only grabbed a few. Figured I was, you know, it was the first table I, uh, I knew I was going to be spending a pretty decent amount there, and 400s Batmans aren't really what I'm after. But uh, this run of Batman is what I'm after, so similar to Ultimate Spider-Man, similar to the Rubik Cap, New 52 Batman is uh, something that I've read fully, um, and I'm buying, you know, trying to put the run together. So he had a decent amount of these, so I got 19 there. Number 20. 22. These, uh, as you get, you know, kind of later on in the run, they're not crazy valuable, but for 50 cents, you're not going to find them that cheap anywhere else. So really happy about that. This is uh, somebody becomes named, like their name gets uh, is it maybe Duke Thomas. I can't remember. That's the only minor, minor key that was... Uh, in that that I grabbed uh, 32 there. I also grabbed um, a couple of variants as well. So here's the first one, 34 selfie variant. I already had the main cover for that one. Jump ahead to 42. Then got another variant of the bombshell, number 43. I think I have that main cover as well. And getting into the James Gordon Batman. So yeah, I was super stoked to find these. I was really hoping he had something like this. Um, then we also got 49 variant here. The uh, Neil Adams is a pretty cool cover. And then number 50, um, both of these are variants. Uh, League of Comic Geeks has that as the full color and then the faded variant. Those are pretty dope. Um, I'll also grab a couple annuals from that as well. Got annual three and annual four. So that was a big chunk of Batman there. Uh, still not even done. Got one more. 123, well, for Batman. Del Auto variant. I know that these regular variants aren't really worth crazy money, but if I see a dope Batman cover for 50 cents, I'm going to buy it. So thought that was cool. Um, huge sack of Batman though. He's not even like my favorite character, but mainly what I picked up there. Uh, but we're going to keep going here. Sandman 65 and uh, 67. That's something I really want to read. So I haven't gotten around to that. Constantine number 14. Probably not worth much more than 50 cents, but he's one of my favorite like oddball characters, even though I guess he's probably getting a little more popular now, but don't have a ton of his stuff. Thought that was cool. Black Cat, 50 cents. Then uh, I got some Power Girl covers for 50 cents. I'm grabbing those all day. Same thing with Danger Girl. This is a uh, Danger Girl Revolver. These are both uh, cover Bs. Got number one there and uh, number four. 
Got this booster roll 25. I think this might be the last issue from this uh, first run. Not that it's worth anything, but didn't know that. Uh, and then a bunch of Avengers books with just characters I like on the covers. Mighty Avengers got Sentry, Miss Marvel. So that was Mighty Avengers number one. And you got Mighty Avengers number three. Uh, Sentry on there, pretty cool. Also got the new Avengers number three. I was really happy about that. It's a dope Sentry cover. And new Avengers number eight. Again, Sentry on the cover. Um, and then here's a couple with Moon Knight on the cover. Secret Avengers number two. Down there in the bottom right. And then this is one of those weird ones, 12.1. Got them on the left. And that might be Sentry on the right there. I can't tell. Um, but coming down the last few here, so... Great haul for today. Really happy about that. Um, better than I expected. I wasn't sure how this was going to go. Last book. Preacher. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Um, great haul. Been looking up, uh, looking out for it for a while, so I was happy that it kind of lived up to my expectations. Um, but that's it. 100 bucks for, I think it was $113, so pretty... Pretty solid all good value. Um, got another show coming up in a couple weeks. Should be a bigger one. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.